Look at that heart. Oh god, we gotta get a closer look at this. We're I'm, so I'm glad they're offline. Isn't this the coolest vase ever? What is going on again, Nerd Paraders? Thank you guys so much for coming back to hang out with me today. Play some more Ark Survival Evolved. And we're here on the island server once again, doing our preparations for the gigantic raid that is going to be coming our way in just a few short hours. Now we're over here on our base at Herbivore Island, and I'm going to show you guys what we've really been working hard on. We haven't got... Did I just say hard on? I think I just said hard on. <laughs> the phrasing in there was uh, a little a little interrupted. Okay, anyway, I digress. Sorry. We've been work working very hard, pause, on the base. <laughs> And I'm going to show you guys what we've been doing and what we're not actually going to be able to get done due to time constraints and resource constraints. But we've been working very, very hard over the course of the last 72 hours when I came at you guys with the last video detailing what was going on in the base. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today. I am Nick, guys. This is Nerd Parade. Welcome to the channel. We're going to check out some base defenses for today. Now, if you don't know what's happening... Uh, in just a few short hours, to close out season three, we're gonna have the we're gonna let the entire server go ham on this base. Now the the event, the server event, is scheduled. Uh, it is Friday, February tenth, at two p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when the event is just gonna go. It's gonna kick off, and anybody who wants to come, entire server is welcome to come, and we're gonna try to just let everybody launch their their deluge of rockets and what have you at the base and we're going to see how long we can hold out that was the purpose of this server event to close out the season we thought it would be really amusing and a cool event and we're excited to do it so we're in the in the final stages of just getting the base set up and i've set it up long enough i'm going to talk about it so here's our i don't think i've ever ever actually really shown off what we've been doing with herbivore island but this is more this is more or less what i'm going to be doing today so we didn't quite, we had some plans. We were going to try to get this all covered with plant turrets, but it just wasn't a thing. This was a turret tower that didn't beca that never became. This is a turret tower that doesn't have bullets in it yet, and it's not fully turreted out yet. We we're going to stick a giant tower here in the center, but that is just not going to happen due to resources, time. Like that would be, God, that would be like 80-ish turrets right there. It's just, it's just not going to happen for us. But I'm going to go around the perimeter here, show you guys what we're working with, and then we'll detail what's up on the island here in a second. But all these spots... Oh, I got the I got the lockups. Darn you, Ark! Why must you lock up when I'm trying to show off the base? Oh, wow, this is a long one. Maybe we'll be our bees. Silly lockups, but now we're back. So, this was... Every spot where you see a little foundation there was supposed to be a turret tower. Just did, no no time. No time, No no resources didn't uh, we weren't able to do it the uh the the gather rate if people keep asking me how do you do this how do you have you been able to do this the gather rate on this server is has been 10 times for the season and everybody's been working really hard in the tribs uh gathering and getting everything set so all this stuff we had grand grand plans for this server event but it doesn't look like we're going to get herbivore island quite to the uh, let's say scale that we were looking to get it to so we, we stopped with those, you know, towers here on the, on the perimeter and started focusing more on the base itself because that's where people are going to try to hit. This was more or less just to stop people from getting into the, the island itself and then to be able to hit us. So now we're going to go over the, like, the horseshoe sort of of the island. And all these turret towers more or less have turrets on them to some degree. There's some that are still missing spots. But these guys are, they're still working on them right now. I just took a break from putting up turrets and, and things of that nature to get more screen freeze. I think it's due, I'm getting screen freeze due to the sheer amount of structures that the game is trying to load right here. So in the event of the raid, there's probably going to be lots of like screen lag, potential crashes, what have you. But the guys in the tribs are going, going crazy. They're doing a great job getting all these placed. We got the ammo pool mod in right now to assist in this because filling these turrets with bullets is is just would be absurd and impossible 
uh, without this ammo pool mod. So we got the ammo pool mod running. It's a really cool mod. It, it might make it into Season 4. I'm, I'm really liking it. And this is what we're working with for the exterior of the base, as well as just the horseshoe. The horseshoe surrounding the base. We've got our litter, litter, a little crown of like plant species that are currently growing. So we've got those in motion. We're just trying to get this as fortified as possible in the final countdown. I think we've got just a couple hours left before it's time for the for everybody to go ham on the base. And that's that's the exterior. That's the exterior, and we're gonna take a look at the interior, which. I think you guys might like it. It's gonna. I'm giving away like all the secrets on how to. I'm, why did he land? He flew around and just landed specifically on the spikes. He didn't even land in the spot that I wanted him to. Okay, so I think you guys are gonna be relatively impressed with the interior, and I'm gonna be giving away so much by opening up the interior and be like, "Hey, look at look at what we're doing. Look at what you're gonna have to come into." But that's. I mean, it is what it is. It's the. It's the nature of the YouTubes and the arcs and the ratings and let me get off the Quetzal so I don't have to deal with the auto close the door. So here's the base. <laughs> As you can see, we've been pretty uh busy making this extraordinarily fortified. So we've just got turrets all the way around. Everything's pretty well protected. If you can get in, it's gonna make for quite the it's going to make for quite a battle, one heck of a battle, and I'm super excited. And not everything's done, there's some exposed wires and everything still that need to be kind of taken care of, but don't worry, we're still working hard on it, and if some of the loose ends aren't tied up, then they're just not tied up. It's This is supposed to be a really fun mass destruction event, and I'm so super excited to get this kicked off. I think it'll be a fantastic way to close out Season 3. I'm, I'm really excited. So this is what we're working with on the base so far, guys. I hope you liked the little quickie tour. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to BRBs with something a little more fun to do. So the last couple of ARC episodes just aren't all about base improvements and base tours. And like, look at all the preparations that we're making for this giant scale raid that's going to come down, rain down upon our heads in the next couple of hours. Now, we don't want the last two videos to only be about that for the ARC Season 3 uh, finale sort of PvP season finale last couple of episodes. So we're going to try to do some fun stuff before we kick off the crazy beast boss banana sandwich I'm awesome amazing adjective raid of the century launched upon our heads. We'll be our bees in just a moment. Alright nerd parators we are back in action and there's something fun that I want to do to kind of like close out the season. That's honor all the people that built really cool bases on the Nerd Parade servers. So we're going to be taking uh, like a, doing like a little bit of an Ark Cribs episode. Where we're taking a look at all the bases built. And the first one is very close to Herb Four Island. There's Herb right there where we're based at. And it's this base right here. However, this isn't a main base. This is just a raid base. The only reason I know this is because we're going to spyglass the tribe real quick. The tribe is a Giga Stole My Trike. Now... The, the Giga Stole My Trike tribe is based on Scorched Earth. So that's how I know that this is a raid base. So I'm not, they're online. I'm not going to get too terribly close to it. But we're going to show off their base as best we can. Their raid base as best we can without me getting just utterly annihilated. But look at this thing. We might be facing some tough, some steep opposition come Friday. This is some beastly looking builds going on here. But it looks like they've got turret towers that have all been vault dropped. I'm I'm thoroughly impressed by this raid base here. But this is what they're do they're uh, they've got going on for themselves. Very cool. We're gonna kind of continue our little spree. I'm gonna make like a circle around the island map, just showing off the bases that we see because I really am liking the opportunity to do this arc cribs thing. Somebody actually mentioned the idea to me, and I'm like, this is hey, we've got a we've got a buddy. What's what's up, buddy? He's coming to say hello. I had to tell him hi. Okay, we've got another base right up here. I'm going to spyglass this one to see if they're online too. And they are. This is the iHoppers base. Let's double check iHoppers. Just getting close enough. Not to where we get wrecked. And here we've got iHoppers base. He's ooh, 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 getting wrecked. <laughs> got a little too close. But this is what iHoppers base looks like. He's got a pretty cool base going on here too. I like that one. Alright, we're going to get out of here before we get shot and or picked because... Ouch! Ouch! 
Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ouchie! Why does this have to happen? Why are turrets so evil? Oh, we've got another base loading in over here. What do you have for us? Let's see what your base is. Oh, these are just, those are gates, but this looks cool. Oh, I know whose base this is. Let me check, see if they're online. I would probably, okay, good. This is the Gatherette's base. Look at that heart. Oh God, we got to get a closer look at this. We're I'm, so, I'm glad they're offline. Isn't this the coolest base ever? Oh my gosh, it looks like a barn. I'm loving the lights. Oh my god, they look at what they I'm so glad they're offline. We can get a closer look. Look at this like like deck that they've built for their barn. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. This isn't like a super strong Oh, I got I got the I got the freeze there. This isn't like a super strong PVP related base. But as far as like PVE bases go, this thing is beautiful. I love the multicolored lights. I love the heart on the ceiling. That must have taken so long to do. And this is so flippin' cool. The Gatherettes, you guys did an awesome job on your base. And if you're watching, I love it. I love this barn base. It is super cool. I'm so glad we got the opportunity. See, this is why this was such a good idea. We got the opportunity to show this off and show off the cool builds that all the nerd paraders do on the server. Super, super awesome. We've got another one over here. It's loading in. This looks like a big one. Behemoth gated off, all metal. We're gonna check out this. Oh, I know who's built here. I know, I know whose base this is. This is the Virtuous Crew base. Wow, plant turret game is strong. Let's see if they're online. That's the back of my RG. I can't. Here we go. The Virtuous Crew is offline. That means we can get close. Look at the plant turret game. Plant turret game is super strong. I, I'm guessing that's surrounding their entire base. And then even more here. G. Flippin' G. This would have been a nightmare to read. Look at this tower! Everything's slowly, like, managing to load in. Let me pump, uh... What should I pump? Let's do, let's do a point of stamina to help me fly around a little bit better. Look at this base. Holy crap. Look at this tower. I don't want them to log in and just absolutely wreck me. That is probably bound to happen. Then I have to be like, um, guys, can, can, I, can I get my tech back? <laughs> Look, it's, I've got screen freeze. There's so much loading in here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Let's get a closer look. Let's get a closer look as my, as my b-hole puckers because I'm surely going to get shot and murdered if they log in. Turrets everywhere. They've got a very cool, like, catwalk-style build. I would love to see inside. Turrets all around. Yeah, their base is fortified. Fortified. They're, that looks like their dino pin. Super fortified. I like this tower. I like this turret tower. I like the spacing on the turrets because it's... Uh, it's better for suicide bombers. Not like... It's better against suicide bombers because when it, the suicide bombers come in to hit, their goal is to try to deal maximum damage to turrets. But these turrets are so spaced out that they might only get like one or two, possibly three, depending on how good they can do it. And it's vault dropped. That is an impressive turret tower design. I really like that turret tower design. Oh god, more... more. The, the screen freeze is going to be a thing f for the load ends, I bet, for these bases. Dino pen is super fortified. God, the plant species turrets just in a row all the way around. This is, oh, this turret tower doesn't look like it's finished, but I bet once that thing was finished, once there were turrets on all that, that would have been quite the tower to contend with. Oh boy. Our plant species, even more plant species over here. Wow. We're, we're not going to call them virtuous, we're going to call them plant species, because these guys just <laughs> spam plant species everywhere, holy crap. Alright, let's see if we can find another base here really quick, and if not, let's fly up. So we get out of render distance, maybe? Screen freezes thing, there we go. I think there's a base over in this general vicinity. Let's see if there's anything over here real quick. If not, we'll be our bees when we find another base to showcase. Let's see if anything pops in for us here. Maybe something over in this area, because it looks cleared. Hmm. No. Oh, I see dino gates over here. Oh, this looks like it was raided. Yeah, this is starting to load in. Looks like turrets are still active, though. Let's take a pop down here and see if they're online. 
Oh, I know whose base this is. This is the base. This is, should be Alpha Control's base. This is the base that we went and tried to do sneaky stuff with, uh... Oh, they're offline. Okay. Looks like they got raided, though. Yeah, they definitely got hit. Most of their turrets and stuff are up. This is an interesting base. I didn't get to get a close look at it last time we were over here, because I was trying to be sneaky sneaky mode when they were online to test the tech rifle. I like the, this turret tower design, but I feel like, boom, one right here just takes the whole thing down. Oh yeah, and they still got floating structures from being raided. All right, guys, we're going to find another base to showcase, and we'll be RBs in just Here a we moment. are in the winter biome, guys. These guys are offline as well, so we can take a closer look at their base. And this thing is massive. Look at this perimeter. Look at all these turret towers. Look at all these dinos. My gosh, this, is a, this isn't a base, this is a compound. Turret towers over here, they got a separate area for Brontos. This place is massive. They got a very similar build, kind of with their main structure, like, uh, like the Virtuous guys. Where the main base looks like it's just peppered in turrets. I don't want to, I'm scared to have them log in. These guys play a lot. This is the, oh, let me honor the tribe here, let me show off their name. They got a monkey up here, just chilling. This is the tribe of Opvask. Opvask. We're gonna try to quickly take a close look at their base before we get absolutely destroyed if they log in. And it's really cool looking. Dino pin. I don't know what that is. I'm sure it's probably like another dino pin or something. I'm assuming that's the main base right there. It's the most heavily fortified. And we're gonna check out their little Bronto pin area. Bronto Pariser pin. Oh, wow, I like what they did over here, like the Great Wall of Turrets. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool and impressive. Wow, this is a this is a giant compound-style base. I'm really digging this one. All right, guys, next up we have the guys who built on the Nerdberg this season. We have the Bastards of Captain May. Now, we've, we battled the Bastards of Captain May in Season 2, and they're a really fun tribe. They always roleplay like the piratey stuff. It's they're they're a fantastic tribe. I really like these guys. They're hilarious, but they are online, so we can't get too close. But let's see what they've done to the Nerdberg. They've ruined it. Look at all those plant species. It's so dirty. They need to clean it up. These plant species. Oh my God! They're still the plant species are still loading in. The tower is really built up high. I'm scared to get close. My gosh, the plant species spam is real. It's so cluttered. My beautiful Nerdberg has been dirtied. No, their base is really defensible. They have so many plant species. This thing would be really hard to... Ow, 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 ow. Got too close. Really hard to raid. Let's check out from this side here. They got towers down here on this side. Oh, they've got the gates stacked up. It looks like they've got their dino pin down under there. I'd get closer to check it out if I could. But they're online and I can't do it. Let's do another sweep around here on this side. My goodness. What have you done to my precious Nerdberg, the Bastards of Captain May? I love- this is my favorite spot to build. Oh, oh, too close, too close, too close. Oh, 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 oh. Almost lost the birdie on that one. Yeah, they built up with S plus the gates to block off. That's a great place to store dinos too. Alright. Let's get out of here before we suffer any more damages. Right, we're back out on another iceberg, and we've got the tribe of Alpha Control. This is their second base. I like this this raft bridge that they did. That's pretty cheeky and clever. That's a good idea to use to get over to the uh, to the iceberg from the mainland. Now, these guys are offline, so we're going to be able to take a closer look at their base. And it is looking pretty cool so far. They did everything. They did their whole build out of glass. Wow, they have this iceberg really defended. Turret towers surrounding it. I'm liking what they did here. What a cool base. Oh, the, I like how they built down here to make like a chandelier. It looks like they didn't finish it, but they were trying to do like the chandelier thing. Let's see what their defenses are up top. Big turret tower. I'm not seeing a whole lot of dinos over there. Maybe the, the maybe some of the dinos over here were moved over to their other base, the, the one that got hit on the on the beach there, I'm not sure. But this base looks pretty cool. I like it. I like this base a lot. 
All right, guys, here is the base of Notorious. These guys are also offline. We're going to get a closer look at the Notorious base. They've been offline for a couple of days, it looks like. And let's see what they're working with over here at this base. All their turrets are down. Maybe they ran out of gas. Vault walls. Not too bad. Big dino pen over here. Look at all the all of these bases. I'm so impressed by all of these bases. They would have been so difficult to raid. Just absolutely next to impossible to raid. <laughs> it, sieges would have taken hours upon hours. And this is not necessarily what we wanted in Season 3. Like, sieges that lasted 16 hours long. But it's it was kind of the result from adding so many mods. So we're definitely going to be fixing that in Season 4. With the smaller man tribe limit, the lower gather rate, and the removal of a lot of the S plus structures. So it's more back to the way things were in season two, the more vanilla style PvP action, which I'm excited to get back into. Little base over here. Oh, really little base over here. Alright, we'll be our bees when we get to another behemoth base. Here is another monster. This is the base on the plateau. By the tribe Inferno. Let's. Oh, they're offline, so we're gonna be able to get a closer look at them. Let's look through their through the gate. Tribe of Inferno. This is their Dino Pen. I like how they made it all glass, so I could see in. Look at all the nice stuff they got going on. While their turrets target me. And let's get up close here, to their main base of operations. This thing is turreted out to a T. I like this guy. I love looking at these bases. I really wish we would have had the chance to do more raiding on Season 3, but Season 4 definitely needed to start. Season 4 definitely, definitely needed to start. Very cool base. Look at this turret tower. Holy monkeys, that is one turret of a tower, if you ask me. That's another one. Holy butts. Jeez. These guys have some pretty beefy turret towers here. And their base is really illuminated. I like that. We've almost completed our full lap around the island, checking out all the bases. We're nearing Green Ob, which is kind of where we started. Herbivore is just near Green Ob. And we might be coming We might be coming to the end of our tour here pretty We've got soon. got a small little village over here. This is the first time seeing of this one. Who's this tribe? This is the tribe of Samuel. And he has made quite the little village over here. I like what he's done. This is a very PvE style build, and I'm surprised he hasn't gotten totally, utterly wrecked <laughs> so far in PvP. But he's got like a little farm over here. I, it was so cool, I had to just I had to stop and show it off because I really liked it. Uh, we're getting even closer to the green ob. I just happened to spot this little bad boy. There it is from the sky. I was like, oh wow, that's a neat little village this guy has set up. And we're definitely going to show that off as we're circling our way back. And I think this might almost do it. Oh, is this a... Do we have another base over here? That looks like just a big dino pen. We've got to be getting pretty close. Green Ob is kind of where we started. And I'm not spotting any other behemoth-style bases. Let's fly over here. Oh, we got a bit of a clearing over here. Mm, no, this doesn't look like it's too terribly much of anything. Yeah, just a couple of structures. All right, looks like we're going to turn it in. We've made our pass. We've made our entire loop around the island, and we've paid our tribute to the bases that were built on the island during Season 3. The ones... The ones that got away. The ones that did not get raided. <laughs> I hope you guys liked it. I hope you enjoyed the small tribute that I uh, that I had here for the, the Nerd Paraders on this, on this server for this season. For their bases that didn't necessarily get raided. We're just kind of still looking at a couple of popular spots on the way back to Herbivore. Just to make sure I didn't miss anybody who's got a big base somewhere that we could still show off. Now that seems to be about it. Alright guys, well I hope you liked the video. If you did, boom, hit that thumbs up button for me. Let me know that you like the stuff. Let's level up our RG and speed. That's me. Let's level up our RG and speed so we can make it back a little bit faster. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the page so you don't miss any of the cool episodes coming up for Season 4. Season 4 PvP is going to be the best one yet. The best one yet. I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are excited for it too. Please remember to take care of yourselves. Stay awesome as we head back to Herbivore Island to finish up our defenses. We'll catch you in the epic raid. Later.